Tonight on Cooking with Foxes is Sloppy Joe's, Beef Sloppy Joe's with pickled jalapenos and classic creamy coleslaw. So we have all of the ingredients here, the ground beef, the coleslaw dressing, Sloppy Joe base, pickled jalapenos, an onion, cabbage, two types of cabbage, red and, and regular, and then shredded carrots and whole wheat buns. So everything's organic as usual, and this should be a good recipe tonight. All right, first thing we're gonna do is cut up the onion because the first thing in the recipe is to caramelize the onion in the skillet, and then you add the ground beef and the sauce. So we're getting ready to cut the onion. Not too much preparation tonight because the cabbage and carrots are all chopped up already, so just throw that together with the coleslaw dressing and that's that. You don't have to do anything with that really. Um, but Yardy's cutting up the onion. And it says you just need a cup of onion, so we probably won't use the whole thing. I don't know. We'll just finely chop it and toast the buns. They give you the option, you can toast them in the toaster or toaster oven or just brown them, toast them in the skillet, which is what we're, we decided to go ahead and do, even though our toaster's right there. Different kind of result, <laughs> no matter, um, depending on what you decide to use with the toasting the buns. All right, starting this onion. Simple, simple, sloppy Joe recipe. Jared is gonna dice the onions really finely because he likes really small onions. And then we'll toss those in the skillet. It was actually a long time before I started eating onions because I hated them when I was a kid. <laughs> I still can't eat raw onions, but I like caramelized onions, so. And in my food, they taste all right. But I just, raw onions, oh, it's too much. I don't understand. Some people just eat onion straight like it's an apple or something. It's just like take a bite out of it. <laughs> it's like, what is wrong with your taste buds? <laughs> But I do eat lemons, so lemons with salt, super sour. Only like my niece and my grandniece, <laughs> we all eat lemons. <laughs> my sister used to eat tomatoes with salt, just, just a tomato, raw tomato with salt. It's pretty gross. <laughs> all right, that onion is almost done. That's probably enough. I think we'll just put, oh. You want to cut the whole thing? No, I need to. Okay. Nardy's going to cut the whole thing then. Not the whole thing. Just... So then, when you caramelize the onions, it says just add salt and pepper and then. The ground beef, add a little bit more salt and pepper, and then the sloppy joe mix, which is like ketchup, Worcestershire, Dijon mustard, brown sugar, some good flavors, sounds pretty good. Alright, and the onions go, still it's already warm. all the chopping we do tonight. Caramelize those onions. The onions are 
starting to caramelize. We already got the ground beef over here. It's gonna add salt and pepper to it. He added a little bit of butter to the onions. He already is adding the pepper to the ground beef, the salt and pepper. He's getting ready to put it in there with the onions, which are caramelized now. He added something else in there. It looks like five spice or something. Mm. What was it? Is this some, some seasoning I got from the... Oh, the Southwest seasoning. Uh, okay, he's breaking up the meat. And I'm not in there. I see the onions are caramelized. So, I'm just going to stir that up for a bit and brown that meat. This is a super simple, quick recipe. Because everything's already prepared pretty much. Alright, while the ground beef is browning in the skillet with the onions, we're going to cut open these packages for the coleslaw. The red and green cabbage and the carrots, which are already all diced up for us, so that makes it super easy. Let's dump it into this bowl here. And then we add the coleslaw dressing, which is right there. And it's starting to brown a little bit. Still completely raw though, not done yet. Yeah, you're breaking it up into smaller chunks. All right, you already just pouring the dressing into the coleslaw. You can still hear the meat and onions over there browning up. Just gonna mix this up. This is a lot of coleslaw for two sandwiches. <laughs> I guess we'll have a side of coleslaw with our sandwiches. <laughs> it didn't look like that much when each packet was separate, but once you combine the three packages of cabbage and um, carrots, it looks like a lot. It's a lot. How's that taste? Good? It's starting to smell good and look good. Now, we're just putting butter in this skillet to toast the buns. We really need to get a walk, not for this recipe, but for all the Asian recipes we make. I'm just breaking up the ground beef a little bit. It's starting to get brown. You can see it's almost cooking through. Still a little bit pink though. We haven't added the sauce in there yet, so it's just ground beef and onions right now. Alright, he's done that. We need to put the bones in the skillet. Okay, now the ground beef is brown and we're adding the sauce. This is the Sloppy Joe mix. Oh, turn off the timer. Okay, I'm just gonna mix that up. Smelling like sloppy joes. Adding a couple of pickle jalapenos. Those are the garnish that you're already adding it to the actual sloppy joes. Okay. Skillet 
just ready to put the buns in to warm them up. Toast those. Okay. Let's see how they all fit in there. Smaller skillet. Okay, turn that up a little bit. And I think we might be almost done. Tastes good. Zing. Ah. I think it's seven and a half. Oh, okay. We're almost done. This is pretty much almost done. Just warm up the buns and we get the meat and the sauce and mix them all together. Okay, so this is pretty much done. I'm gonna record when we start assembling. We're putting the buns in the plate, and you're just getting ready to dish up the sloppy joe. Okay, everything's ready. So, sloppy joe onto the toasted buns. <laughs> These are very sloppy, sloppy joes. You could have made them open face. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Oh, tonight we are having barefoot spritzer red sangria. And now we're putting the coleslaw. Can we eat more or no? Yeah, I put a couple on mine. We're going to have a couple of jalapenos in there. A little bit spicy. Pickled jalapenos, these came with the recipe. Coleslaw on there? Yes, coleslaw. Mm. Put it on the other side so it doesn't fall all over. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit more coleslaw for me, please. Thanks. That was really good. And I think that's it. Okay. So dinner is served. Sloppy Joe's. Bon appetit.